You are watching Jimodism Total Nerdy Channel. This is a cheap 256 GB SD card versus an expensive 256 GB SD card. Which card will be the best value for your money? Is it better to go with a cheap alternative or better to go to, with a more expensive one? Well, let us check. So uh, here we have this little cheap SD card and it's bought for 151 crowns, which is uh, 18 US dollars to buy today. It's branded Huawei, but uh, as one can kind of see from the package, <clears throat> the package doesn't really say Huawei. Uh, so, safe to say, this ship is actually not from Huawei. But it promised to be 256 gigabyte and has a decent uh, transfer speed. Um, it's also Pro Plus. Great. Here we have the uh, more expensive one. This cost me 549 Swedish crowns, uh, which is uh, 65 US dollars by uh, today's rating. So $65 versus $18 256 gigabyte SD card. Well, first we'll need to unbox this. Let us unbox this. Apparently we need uh, scissors. Almost impossible to get up. Here we go. So we have a micro SD card and we have an adapter. So we can just uh, put the card in the adapter here. Very nice. Looks pretty sturdy. Great. Cool SD card. Well, let us indeed compare this 549, uh, $65 or 151 crown, $18 card. And to do that, we'll need some uh, softwares. So we'll need to plug them in into the computer and do some tests. To test the actual size of the SD card and to check if there is any error on it, we'll need to run this program, H2TestW. We first run it on the faulty SD card. And when we do this, we can see it's not actually the size that it promised to be. And we get this error here. Now, we should instead test the one that's completely fine and working, that's bought from a more reliable supplier. So, uh, let's test the more expensive one. So, we are going to click English, select target, select the SD card, like that. And all available space for this one, since we think it is legit. And we just click write and verify. Alright, let's test it. Now this SD card is formatted into FAT32 uh, and it would have a little bit more space if we tested it in NTSF. So that was basically what the warning was about. Now this will take some time, so just let it run. Alright, now you can see that H2 test W is now done. Uh, it has uh, taken 1 hour and 40 minutes to do this. Uh, 244,000 megabytes were tested, which is about what to expect. Uh, now, it is true that it's less efficient uh, saving files uh, or uh, formatting uh, a drive and saving files in it in uh, FAT32. Uh, but it's kind of the standard for USB. It will be a little bit bigger if you use NTFS, but uh, the way the industry standard works is that when you buy a 256 gigabyte uh, SD card or USB stick, it's not really that big uh, IRL. It's a theoretical size. It's a little bit weird and very nice business practice, but that's basically how it works. And after doing this test, you can certainly see that it indeed is not a fake drive. We didn't have any errors. Uh, we could test uh, all this space, which is basically uh, the amount that were promised, uh, without any errors. So it tested all the space and it worked completely fine. Uh, if our drive wouldn't be a legit drive, then we would get some type of error. Uh, as you can kind of see in the example here, uh, that we tested a fake drive, which uh, wasn't the size as it promised. And you can see that we indeed get some errors there. So we can just close this program down now and we can now instead go to uh, File Explorer and we can go uh, into our SD card and we can just delete all these files here. These are the test files that were 
put here to test the actual size of it. So just delete all of them. And there we go. Now it's empty and nice. So uh, let us now test the actual uh, quickness of the drive. Let's test the read and write speed that were promised. So uh, to do this, we'll need to launch a specific little software that is called Crystal Disk Mark. So to get Crystal Disk Mark, you can find it in the links in the description together with the software we looked at earlier. So uh, we just launched this uh, Crystal Disk Mark uh, 8 right now. Shizuku edition, of course. And here we have it. Now we first need to select a proper device, which is uh, G in this case the 239 gigabyte one uh, and uh, you can test with some different speeds 64 megabytes is if you're really lazy uh, but the standard one is like uh, I think it's one gigabyte four times is the standard and that is a nice and reliable test so uh, we are just going to run this test here and uh, we're going to test read and write speed now uh, the first two uh, test values here they are sequential uh, and the two later ones, they are uh, random. And uh, sequential is basically uh, what matters the most for this case, um, which is the promised uh, read and write speed when you bought your SD card. And now the first sequential is uh, 8Q and the other sequential is 1Q, but for uh, an SD card like this, uh, it doesn't really matter very much uh, which of them you use kind of uh, the, the values will be similar but might indeed matter very much when testing the speed of hard drives which you of course can do with this application all right uh, let's just uh, run the test and uh, it will take some time to uh, complete this test and there we go all the results are in now you can see that sequential 1q 8q are quite similar um, while the random values are uh, very much different but the random values doesn't matter uh, that much we are looking at the sequential values and uh, from this we can conclude that the speed of this drive is completely legit uh, since this one should have been 100 megabytes per second or up to 100 and the write speed should have been up to 90 megabyte per second and uh, it will never be exactly uh, the number it promised it will always be a little bit below the promised value and uh, this is absolutely legit absolutely fine 94 93 85 84 megabytes per second it's close enough to 190 megabytes per second so uh, this is uh, delivered this drive is completely legit and uh, not fake at all which is pretty nice all right uh, it's now time to test the speed of a uh, drive a little sd card micro sd card that is uh, certainly quite fake so uh, let us indeed go here and start crystal disk mark there we go we are now going to select the uh, proper device uh, and i've already formatted this to uh, the size it indeed actually is and we're just going to perform a little quick test because uh, well it will certainly not be the promised values. I would be very surprised. So let's just click all and check what speeds we actually can reach. Well then, almost all the test results, now all the test results are in. And of course we used a small size only one time, so this is not super accurate. Uh, but you can see that um, it's accurate enough for us to tell that it's no way near 100 megabytes per second uh, in uh, read and nowhere those levels at write. This one is uh, super slow, very sad SD card, which is pretty as pretty expected since you know the size is fake of it, so the read and write speeds were probably also fake. So there you go, um, pretty slow, pretty small, not worth the money. But at least we tested it, so uh, hopefully this means uh, you will not need to test it and you'll only buy uh, quite reliable SD cards and USB sticks and stuff like that. Like it's very difficult to see from the outside of the SD cards if they are a scam or not. 
so you really have to test them. But um, the most important thing is probably to buy it from a reliable supplier. Unfortunately, uh, some of the fake ones have gotten into hardware stores, but uh, a good thing to look for is that, you know, the price. Is it too cheap? Then it's probably a scam. Unfortunately, some expensive ones are also a scam. But what you definitely need to look at is that the card is branded the same as the package. Um, and it's also good to buy it from a reliable supplier, which is like not a wish where I got uh, my cheap one. Uh, not Amazon and not um, any big like Alibaba or something like that. <clears throat> you probably need to get it from a reliable store. Uh, I got my um, SD card here, this one. I got it from a camera store that sells professional cameras and uh, they don't offer any super cheap SD card at all, which probably means they have uh, they know what they're selling. If you go to a professional store, they know what they are selling. Now, what I bought mine from is a professional online camera store, but they really sell pro stuff. So, uh, you know, buy from a reliable supplier because this is obviously not worth 151 Swedish crowns, 18 US dollars. Now you know. Hope this video indeed helped you and uh, hope that you will buy nice, SD cards from uh, recognized brands like this one for example. Pretty good SD card uh, compared to this one. Wasn't really quite what it promised was it? But I hope this video was what it promised to be and if it was well then you should leave a like and uh, you should also subscribe for future videos. Because this is your host Jim Desm signing out.